Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Undertale, the final game of my Extra Life stream, and this is probably going to get turned into a YouTube series along the way. So, I guess, story-wise, long ago, two races ruled over Earth. Humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Well, that kid's dead. Goody. Yep, corpse. Dunsky. That that's it. All good to go. I like the pixel art, which is a little bit bigger for me to look at, because unfortunately the rest of my monitor is kinda large. But I don't see a full screen option for this game, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay. So let's see. So now we're in. Uh I've already con Contribute to the controls. Okay, when your HP is zero, you lose. Ooh, okay, that's disconcerting. Uh, this is made by Toby Fox, 2015. Okay, and so before we begin, I should probably uh, let you guys know that this is actually a, this is a blind playthrough. Click. Um, but so um. So I have no I have no idea what any of the plot points are. I have no idea. People keep telling me to either go pacifist run, genocide run. I have no idea what these things mean. So uh, let's begin. Oh, name the fallen human. What? What should we name? I'm terrible at naming things. Fallen human, eh? Um. Name name the character after myself. Grand Slam Man. Yeah, I got it. I got a name. I got a name for my fallen human. It's a good name. It's a solid name. It is a name a man could be proud of. Or a woman, I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I'm not entirely sure if a woman would be particularly proud of this name. Alright, well, we're going to these this is the uh this is the fallen human. Dude. Is this name correct? Dude. <laughs> I like it. I like that imagery. Okay, well we are now this 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 weird dude. Come on, dude. We've got heroic things to do. I miss the music. All right. Well, howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of levels. What's levels stand for? Why, love, of course. Oh. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here. Love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Uh, fuck? Die! Um, well, this... Oh, we're okay. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Well, 
What's this? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Hey, save. File saved. Alright, cool. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Can I reset it? Okay. Well, I can just press all of them. Oh, hello. Uh, to make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. <laughs> Thank you. Stay on the path. Fuck you, I do what I want. Oh. Okay, well, this one's pretty well labeled. So this one... Splendid! I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. This switch doesn't even work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. When you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You encountered the dummy. Fight, act, item, mercy. Mercy! Uh, spare? Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Uh, item. I don't have any items. Items! Act. Okay, dummy. Uh, check the dummy. Dummy, attack, zero, defense, zero, cotton heart, and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Well, dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Okay, dummy, talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero experience and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I think you would do what I want. I'm Dora the goddamn explorer, I think. I don't know, I'm kind of having trouble to determine- Oh, hello, and I am- Froggit attacks you! Alright, act. Froggit, uh, check. Froggit, attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. <laughs> you won! Earn zero experience, zero gold. The western room in this is... Wait, the western room is the eastern room's blueprint. What the hell does that mean? Uh... Pardon? The western... Oh! This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Why are all there- why is there all this just shit on the ground for, like, no good reason? This doesn't feel like a good idea. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Well. I mean, it's a room? Is, er, I, I, pardon? Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there is an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. 
If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Well, if I learned anything from uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, it was, um, when, when you're told to wait, you wait. Uncle's coming back sometime soon. Sometime soon. It will, uh... She'll, she'll be back soon. I think let's just, let's just wait for a while. I think we'll be okay. There's a reason why I haven't uh, publicized my Link to the Past Let's Play. 40 episodes. Waiting that hut. Just waiting. All day long. Wait, are you guys serious that if I actually wait, something happens? Is that... Is that for realsies? If... Alright, people are saying wait. Alright, in that case, this might actually be the first episode just waiting for a freaking long time. So let's talk about stuff. Let's talk about, uh... I don't know. I'm liking this game thus far. I mean, the, the writing is... I mean, that flower is fucked up. Um... Uh, stuff like that. Um, hmm, what else? I mean, the music the music so far is actually pretty good. I, I like that a lot, actually. It's, um... It's, oh, God. This is, this is like, kind of quintessential, like, NES music, I think. Uh, as far as things go. Uh, I, I'm, tr I'm trying to think of it, like... There, there was a, there was a, an article I read a while back about like sound design in music, like specifically music back in the day, uh, that um, that when you when you um, when you're designing music for games like like you know modern games, you know the modern big games with the you know massive memory requirements and tons of space and you know more or less unlimited budgets. You can fit whatever you want in there, uh, which means you get those like big grand orchestral soundtracks and techno and whatnot. Problem is, uh, ultimately it sounds very, very self-similar. I mean, gonna be honest, no, no amount of you know big brass band or orchestral stuff is always going to sound unique. Uh, Halo did a pretty good job of like standing out and stuff like that, and you know, it. it I would actually say that's probably one of the most unique ones. But, like, when it comes down to, like, S and S stuff, and pretty much anything within the 8-bit, you don't have a lot of space. And, I mean, sure, admittedly, this game is not exactly the most, um, complicated of things. But it does feel like they, they approached it with the, the old-school SNES style. Uh, which I'm actually appreciating. Uh, SNES or S NES, I don't know. It's got a very big Earthbound feel. Uh... It's, it's got a very big, uh, yeah, yeah earth, oh, ring, hello. Hello, this is Toriel. My errands are taking longer than I thought they would. You must wait for five more minutes. Thank you for being patient. Click. Wow, they're right! <laughs> I actually got a call! Alright, I, I thought you guys were just pulling my leg. Um, but yeah, Bungie's always had really good soundtracks for the game. I'm trying to think of other games that have had particularly good... Uh, soundtracks. I'm setting a timer now. I want to see if it actually takes five minutes. Um, we're probably going to get another call, but still. Okay. Toby used his experience from his Earthbound ROM hack for this. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. So he actually made like a, a ROM hack along the way. Okay. I, I have no idea. I know nothing about the, um, uh, let's see. Uh, I know nothing about the developer. I know nothing about this game. Everybody's like, man, Undertale's great. I see all this fan art. I see, like, a bunch of random jokes, and I'm like, well, I don't I don't know or understand any of them. Toby also did Homestuck music. Oh, that would that would be that would be a pretty good uh pretty good reason why this stuff came through. Yeah, I like tidbits like this. Like if you guys feed me tidbits like this, uh for people watching this later, this is live streamed, of course. Um But uh but uh, if, if I'm fed, like, weird tidbits that I wouldn't know, or things that I missed for, like, a later playthrough, maybe, but please, 
please, everyone, don't, like, don't kind of push me to do what you want me to do. Uh, because that's not gonna work. But, uh, yeah, this guy did Homestuck music. Okay. Yeah, that would, that would make perfect sense. The Homestuck music is freakishly catchy, but ultimately you listen to it a bunch of times and you're like, Oh, ugh, I gotta, I gotta move on to something else. Speaking of Homestuck, I don't even have, is that still on, like, permanent hiatus? I have no idea. I'm still trying to fill time. We've got three and a half minutes left. Um, but yeah, uh, just going back to my original, like, pseudo rant about things. Um, back when they were making, like, the NES or SNES, you had, like, you had less than a floppy disk's worth of space to put a whole game on sometimes, I think. I, I don't actually remember how much space, like, the old NES cartridges had, but, like, if you wanted to put, like, a serious soundtrack into a game, it took a lot of work to bust it down into a very, very small, shrink, uh, little area. And I actually think that's, that's kind of nice. Um, it's kind of a nice, nice thing that it doesn't show up very often. There, there are very few games that actually have the, the same effect. And I'm hoping this one has the exact same style. Okay. Yeah, guys, don't, don't tell me about, uh, about secrets. Um, but tell me if I'm, like, wasting my time, really. So right, right now, like, the, uh, the idea of waiting for the person, uh, <laughs> when I heard that, I'm like, I gotta try this, but, I mean, this is a live audience. Should I do this? Should I not? I don't even know. Oh, man. But if that's the case, alright, we got, we got two minutes left. We're getting there. We're probably gonna get another call, and it's gonna be longer, too. This would, this would be brutal if I was just sitting here by myself, but I guess I could just, uh, stand up, walk away, and just do other things. Um, because in retro, in retrospect, uh, oh, ring, hello. That's not five minutes. Hello, this is Toriel. I found what I was looking for, but before I could take it, a small white puppy snatched it away. How odd. Do dogs even like flour? Uh, that's an unrelated question, of course. It'll take a little longer. Please understand. Click. Well. <sighs> well, at least she's giving us progress reports. Now, I'm going to mess around with things for a bit. Let's see if I can... I can't hide... She can hide behind that pillar, but I can't. Is she a two-dimensional person? Oh, wait. Um. Hmm. Well. Alright. Well, this doesn't work. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at stuff. We've got stats. Dude. Level 1. HP 20 to 20. Attack, defense, weapon, stick, armor, bandage, gold. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Sell. Uh, say hello. About yourself flirt and call her mom. Ooh. Dialing. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then. Hello. I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. About yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Call her mom. Dialy. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Flirt with her. Dude flirts with everyone! Dialing. Huh? Oh! <laughs> How adorable! I could just pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Well. Well, I guess we're here now. You know, I'm gonna just practice my little middle like shimmy, my little shimmy shams here. There are there are shimmy shams going on. Our character is going to have like thighs of iron by the time we're done sprinting in circles. Like there there is there is no there is no stopping us. We will be the the ultimate Olympic uh, small small. Um, distance racing. What what do you guys think think uh, a measure of movement is 
for this lap. Maybe about six feet? What is it called? The 800 meter dash? I'm gonna call this one the, uh, the five minute dash looped infinitely until my legs fall off. I think that's about right. Wait, there's other dialogue for the flirt? Alright! Dialing. Oh dear. Are you serious? And after you said you want to call me mother. You're an... interesting child. Say hello. This is Toriel. You want to say hello again? Salutations! Is that enough? Say hello. This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch! Rule over the leaf pile with the fist of iron! Can you do that for me? Click. What do you say? Fuck you! I will, I, I will have you tried and executed for... Oh, wait, this is in the leaf pile. Well, uh... Well, is there a leaf pile? I mean, we got these, like, viney things, but... Nope, guess not. Alright. She lied to me about the whole leaf pile thing, so I guess I'm not much of a... I'm a shitty monarch. I don't even have a leaf pile to rule over. What kind of iron fist can I chuck at a leaf pile that doesn't even exist? This is garbage. What am I gonna do? You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go shove myself. I can't even hide in a corner. I'll just I'll just stare at this one. I don't even know. Okay, well. I'm just gonna shimmy sham. Shimmy sham, shimmy shimmy sham, shimmy sham, shimmy sham. Alright, let's uh let's call some more. Say hello! This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. Click. Well. <laughs> so if you want to say there's more stuff. I, like, I really want to. I really, d I really want to just see what more stuff there is, seeing as I was told to wait. But I do want to, ah! The illusion of choice. Well, I guess it's not the illusion of choice. This is actual choice. This is, this is, the power is in my hands. The power is in my, like, iron-bound shuffle step feet here. And I, 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 I. Uh -huh. Alright, at the beginning of the room, there's a leaf pile. Well, hot diggity damn. We're gonna go... Oh, wait, shit. Is the, is the leaf pile currently guarded by all the spikes? Is this the leaf pile? No, that's probably just more ivy. I'm just gonna wander back and forth here for a little while. Uh, she'll probably give me another call or something. Zoop doop. Whoa, what the... Nope, not going that way. Oh, ring. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. You're, you're heavy panting on the other end of the phone. Bark, bark. Bark, 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 bark. You're a distant voice. Stop, please. Come back here with my cell phone. Click. Welp. This isn't good. Say hello. Dialing. Somewhere. Signals deflected by a dog. Well. Dog took the cell phone. I don't think she's coming back anytime soon. Can anybody confirm if she does... Are we, are we done? Let me guess. Nothing's... Yep. Okay. I, I assume we're done, Ski. That's it. There's more... There's more dog-related dialogue if you want to hear it. I'm trying to interact with... Oh, you get more messages if you wait. Alright. Well, whatever. Fuck it. I was hoping for something a little bit more dramatic. Ring! Hello? Hello? This is Toriel. My apologies. A strange dog kidnapped my phone. So if you called, I could not have helped you. However, I've recovered it. And you're still in that room, are you not? What a good child you are. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? God damn it, I'm being guilt tripped into- Alright, we're gonna go back in here for a while. Uh, I'm being guilt tripped into just waiting in this room. Actually, you know, she's got her phone back. Can I call her? This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. Alright, well... Alright, I've grown bored. 
My, my commitment has faltered. Let's go fuck up this frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. What's this? Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with, the de with determination. Healed. And we have saved. Okay. Well, oh, you can't get the wait messages once you've left. Oh, I'm... Froggit has hopped close. Uh, act. Froggit. Uh, let's compliment him. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, Ribbit. What the? Oh, God! Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. Act, Froggit. Compliment him some more. Froggit didn't understand, but was flattered anyway. Okay. Oh, okay, we're getting attacked by bugs. Or little froggy bugs things. Okay. Froggit is reluctant to fight you. What if I do spare? You won! You earn zero XP and two gold. Cool. Uh, can I heal again? Okay. Can you get experience for, like, just mer mercy bits business? Do you... Okay. Oh, once their name is yellow, you can spare them. Okay, that's good to know. Act. Uh, Whimsom. Let's terrorize him. You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers. Whimsom freaks out! I can't handle this! Oh, God! Yep. Okay. Whimsom is hyperventilating. Okay. His name is now yellow. Let's spare Whimsom. You won! You get some more gold. Okay. No EXP for mercy. Oh. Well. Alright. This is gonna be exciting. Oh, what's this? It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Sure. You took a piece of candy. Press C to open up the menu. Alright, well, we got candy now. Is there any other buttons I can press? Actually, no. They would be on the configuration menu. This looks disconcerting. Uh, yep. Well, we are going places. Alright. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> A simple puzzle that I seem to have failed. Froggit hopped close. Act. Froggit. Threaten it. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. Shiver, shiver. Yeah. Okay. No flies for you, business. Wish there was like a timer on that so you could see. Okay. Uh, Froggit has been, uh, has been pacified. Okay, Froggit is ha- uh, Froggit is spared. Let's keep going. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not do dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn your nose if you found it in your plate? Right? Right? I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. Oh, this is puzzled. Easy enough. What's this one? And I'm, I'm fighting again. Okay, act. Frog it. Let's compliment him. Frog it didn't understand what you said. It was flattered anyway. Alright, so is this the frog one? Deeply blushes. Oh, yeah. Stay away from me. Okay, there we go. Good to be going. Froggit seems reluctant. Spare him. Yay! Okay, uh, let's see. Can I, can I do anything? Oh, oh, these are done. Ring. Hello. You don't have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. Click. Well. Okay, this room is full of holes and a leap pile. Oh, God. I've made a mistake. Oh, I got it. Okay, act. Whimsom. Console, console him. Halfway through your first word. Whimsom bursts into tears and runs away. You won. You're in zero experience, zero gold. No, I need the money. Or something. Okay. Well, let's try this again. So let's go down here, all the way down here, then scoot over a bit. shoop a -doops, and I've already forgotten the rest of it. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Nope. Fuck it. Oh, I was supposed to go all the way back down. Okay. I have a terrible memory for these things. Oh, it's a pair of froggets hopped towards you. Froggit A. Compliment him. Froggit didn't understand what you said. But was flattered anyway. Okay. Bludges deeply. Hop, hop. Does it get any harder because there are two of them? Yes, it does. Okay. Battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. Froggit B. Compliment. 
Didn't understand what you said, but it was flattered anyway. Yay! So they're both happy now. Okay, now we want to just dodge business. Okay. Now mercy. Spare. You won! You earned zero XP and four gold! Yeah! Alright. Uh, so we wanna loop around this way? The, no! Oh, okay, I'm under attack. Frog it hopped close. Act. Frog. Frog it. Nope. Check. Life is different killed for this enemy. I did not mean to do that. Oh well. It's easy enough. Yeah, it does actually get harder. Ah, ow. Whatever. Compliment. Okay, close enough. Okay. Oh, we, so apparently gear is free, so... Oh. So you don't even need experience or gold. Alright, that's, I guess, kind of useful to know. Well, this is comically easy puzzle. Dang it! I suck at these things! Alright, act. Uh, you know what? Let's start by sparing... Yep, we've already spared the whiz... Whiz... Mer... Whims... Whims... Mer... Me... Mer... 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 Okay, compliment. Probably didn't understand. Yeah! I should probably start reading these things out loud. Alright, well, he is blushing deeply. We are hitting on frogs! I don't even know what gender dude is! You know what? I'm actually going to say... Assume with the longish hair and all the fan art I see. Um... That, uh... What are those things beneath Froggit, anyway? I'm trying to figure out if those are, like, balls or something. Just because it feels weirdly... Not appropriate, but still. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay. Just for you, pumpkin. Aw, thank you. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Alright, I think I got it. Was that helpful? Oh, oh. You. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Another healy bit? Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Save. This cheese has been here for quite some time. It's stuck to the table. Ew. Alright, well, let's, uh... What the hell is this? Um, are they gone yet? As ghosts keep saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No. Z, 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 Z. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. Move with force? No. Well, I guess we're gone. Can you just please move, Mr. Z Man? I don't want to move it with force. That's my thing. That's not my thing. Sell. So, uh, puzzle help. Dialing. This is Toriel. Help with the puzzle? Um, you have not left the room, have you? Wait patiently for me and we can solve it together. Alright, guess we're guess we're uh, starting with force. I'm not entirely sure how we're pushing a ghost around admittedly, but I mean, yes. Alright, here comes the Napster Blook. Act Napster Blook. Flirt with him! I just weigh you down. Oh, tears. Interesting. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Napster Blook is staring into the distance. Napster Blook. Let's cheer him now. He gave Napster Blue a patient smile. Heh. Okay, really not up to feel, feeling right up to it now, sorry. What the? Looks a little bit better. This music is great. Alright. Flirt. I just weigh you down. Okay, I like the kind of bullet hole RPG mechanics. It's a bit slow though. Alright, let's cheer him on some more. Okay, you told him a little joke. Hmm. Stay away from the tears just a little bit. Cheering seems to have improved Napster books. Whatever. Okay. Cheer some more. 
wants to show you something. Let me try... I call it Dapper Bloop. Do you like it? Yup. Napster Bloop eagerly awaits your response. Oh yeah, we're cheering this man on. Oh gee. I usually come to the runes because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. It's a puzzle game bullet hell. Alright, where's my water? I'm starting to get sore throats here. Ah, that's better. Ooh, keep hydrated, folks. Let's go in here. What is this? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale. Down to the right. Come and eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Of spiders! Oh, God. That's creepy. Well, let's go get some sp- uh... Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Uh, leave 16G in the web? Uh, yeah, hell yeah. We didn't have enough gold. What? Oh! Let's try this one. This is smaller. Leave 7G in the web. Yes. Some spiders crawled out and gave you a donut. Let's get some more. Yeah! Alright, we got donuts now. Uh, should probably get some more money. It didn't have enough. Okay, so we've got we've got this. Now, is there a way of like yeah, Alright, well let's max out our inventory with some donuts. You know, it'll probably be easier if we have a bigger zone. Eh no, let's not do it. We can Will there are there monsters that will show up here? I wanna go spider bake sale! Actually, I'm not nah, I don't really. Let's let's speed through. I'm probably gonna do another playthrough later. I'm doing things properly. My friend never li listens to me. Whenever I talk, they just skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 it can make you use full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs. I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Ribbit! Ribbit! I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very, it's helpful, bad. Very helpful, it's bad. Very helpful. It's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Ring. Hello. I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. 